of this gratitude? Why is it that oftentimes Christians are rather grumpy, rather tense, kind of edgy, on edge? Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. I'm not in the mood today. No. The idea here is that we are so overwhelmed, and we're going to spend some time thinking about this, that we are so overwhelmed by what we have in Jesus Christ because we understand who we are. As I reach back into chapter 1, I... You know, it's interesting that as Christians, we still maintain our personalities, right? You're you, you, uniquely you. I'm, I'm unique in the context of who I am. We don't lose our identity, but we are still joined together in Jesus Christ. And as a consequence of that, the church is diverse and different. We all have different abilities and gifts and things of that nature. When we think about gratitude... We've got to get to the place where we see ourselves in the context of who we truly are and what we truly were when God saved us. When I see myself in the context of a person who is receiving absolutely nothing in the context of what I actually deserve, punishment, judgment, but rather in a loving expression. Do you have a heart that is overflowing with gratitude? If you don't, you need to ask yourself why. Perhaps it's because you don't know him. Right? If you find yourself to be that person who is never grateful, who's always murmuring, who's always in that context of, 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 of being kind of on the edge, then you need to go back and examine your own heart. Do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? That, in essence, is what Paul is doing here with these Colossi believers. He's talking to them about what it means to walk in Jesus Christ. He's looking for that evidence that demonstrates that they truly are the redeemed of God. One of those indicias of that transformation is an attitude of gratitude. Overflowing.